Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Chrissy and I travel with my two dogs and my converted school bus. Um, I finished it a year ago and now I'm just doing updates before my, the summer comes and I'm gonna be traveling more. Um, this video is just a pile of updates to the bus that I've done on the weekends. Um, I'm still in school full time so I'm up here at school on the weekends. I go back to my bus and update the things I can before summer comes and I'll be in it full time. Um, so in this like video, it's not a how-to or like a DIY. I mean, it's very DIY, but I'm not like teaching you how to do the things that I'm doing really. It's just more just a vlog style taking you along the way and just updating you guys. And Bodhi has to say hello and welcome to this video too. Please subscribe. Boop, 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 boop. He'll be in the video too. Nothing new. Okay. So next on the list of little projects for the bus, um, I'm redoing the locking system that is on the two back like emergency doors. The very back one, um, it had like a metal bar that went around the handle. And so what I was doing previously was using like a cable bike lock. Um, it was a pain in the butt. So I like rarely used it and I actually forgot the code to it. I don't know how. So I took that whole thing off and I'm doing a new locking system that's super simple um, and I feel like a little bit more like legit and safe. Um, I'll show you, kind of, I'll try, but it's really cold out. Um, I actually got the idea from Isaac from A Bus Life Story, so he shows it like a little bit more clear. So you can see I took off that mechanism that went around. Um, so pretty much this lock is what's going to go on there and it's going to go in right here and I'm using this scrap piece of wood that I've had for like three years to put it in. Okay, I got the first part done. Let's see. I had to put this piece of wood behind it um, so my screws had something to go into. I would have liked to use longer screws. I could not find any that I had that the heads weren't too big for this to like slide over. So, okay. I have showered, I finished the locks on the outside. Um, I finally put this last coat of poly on this door. So this always used to have just a blanket laying over it. Um, and I wanted something that just looked more like polished off. So I'll show you up close, but how I did this was I went on Instagram, got or in, went on Pinterest, got some inspiration, and then I drew it up really quickly on the computer and Illustrator. Um, and then just eyeballed it and transferred it to the piece of wood. Um, the colors are a little bit brighter than what I was originally wanting to go for. I wanted like more earthy tones, but it's what I had. It's good for now. Um, I can see myself like being out on like BML land at one point and like having a few beers in me and deciding to change the color up. So, um, I do like it. Um, I put, after I painted it, I put two coats of poly on it just to really like seal it up, but I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. Of course my bed is a mess right now, but just geometric shapes. Okay, I am done with some of my fun projects I did this weekend. First one was painting this door. Second one was staining this door along with my closet door and then making this mirror. So I got this mirror for $7 at Target and I put on like my favorite sea glass and crystals and with all my travels that I do, I always find like shells, crystals, rocks and I'm just going to keep adding them to the mirror. But I think it looks nice. And then the third main thing was getting my back two doors locked and they are locked and good to go. Um, if you guys have like other ideas that you think would be good for people to like share and know about the way you lock them share them below um I can also go in more in depth and like show you how mine are locked because I know that was a big thing when I got my bus was there was like not many YouTube videos about like simple ways to lock the doors I do gotta say though Itabelle you're looking mighty cute first time she went to the groomer in a long time and you're looking beautiful girl Hello. Beautiful, I said.
Okay, I left my camera up at my house. Um, but when I picked my bus up from the mechanic to get the AC fixed, my backup camera now is not working, like my interior lights and my dash fan. And when I'm looking in here, which is really confusing, that light is to number six. And when I look at the top, number six says interior lights. So I'm guessing a fuse broke or blue, but I have no idea. So I'm trying to figure that out. I just woke up, no idea what I'm doing. Well, so, I've been working on this for two hours. I found where all the wires are going, but I still can't figure it out. And we're frustrated, we're tired, and we just want it to work. Ugh. Okay, so first off, I got rid of my like big iPhone, I think it was a 13. Yeah, like the 13 Pro, like the newest one, the really nice one. I got rid of it and got an iPhone 12, smaller one, with a crappier camera. So bad timing to like forget my camera, hun dude. I got the dogs here. Boop, doop, doop. So update on yesterday. I so the my backup camera wasn't working. The dash fan, everything like up front. All these not working um and I talked to this is so fun I talked to the mechanic that when we picked it up from all that stopped working um and they didn't mess with anything in the inside when they fixed my AC but I'm taking it back to the Monday to try to figure it out because I spent like over four hours following every single wire like up through like I'm not, you guys it was <laughs> it was this is a bad time to be right-handed. Okay, so I followed the wires all the way up, through, across, into my fuse box, under the dash, took some of this stuff off. I mean, I found from what I could see every fuse, like I was in every nook and cranny. Granted, no idea what I'm doing, but I'm like, I have a gist of how it works. Well, it all, from what I'm understanding, it has something, they're connected to the ignition relay and that isn't working, but the I don't know. Fuses and everything work. So actually when my dad got home, we were under the hood looking at all those fuses. The, the diagrams don't really match up with this bus because it's been so long. Um, and there's been a lot of things like done to it. But so that I'm really sad to say. I'm really sad to report that I did not figure it out because I really thought I could. But anyway. So today finishing the plumbing. Um, my water pump, I accidentally let it freeze last winter and I let it dethaw. <laughs> hey, booty. She wants to be in it. I let it dethaw all winter and it works, but it's leaking, so I bought a new one. So I'm going to install it today. Last time I tried doing this, I had so many leaks, so I bought all new fittings. I'm like going to redo it. Um, last night, I got a really big urge to like paint my cabinets paint these white cabinets with my white door like a terracotta color and that's the last thing I need to be doing right now it would look cute but I'm just it's fine the way it is I just need to leave it um I still actually need to finish painting the outside of my bus I already painted it last summer but I never like finished painting the front and the hood which I'm like really not wanting to do because it looks like it's in great condition and I don't want to like paint over it and like make it look worse you know but I think it'll look better like matching um so we're gonna bust some of this out today i got the buddy heater going because i'm sorry if this is shaky but i got the buddy heater going because it is cold here in michigan again i mean, always give updates because the weather like this season changes so much so today it's raining it's 45 degrees but it feels really cold i also my hair is wet because i showered so that could be probably a reason too but i'll keep you guys updated okay as I'm sitting here, I can't help but stare at these cabinets. <sighs> Guys, do I leave them the way they are? They're great. They work. They're perfectly fine. Or do I paint them in what color? Because I was thinking like light terracotta, but I feel like that's a really hard color to like land because it either looks too orangey, too pinky, too brownie. And I don't, brownie, I don't want it to clash with this or my tile. <sighs> But I think they would look real cute with my leather poles. 
And I don't really want to do like an off-white or a tan because I don't want them to look like they're dirty white. I originally was going to paint like something on this, like a mural or I was going to do this design out of um, like wood but still have it white. But then I painted that. So I'm not going to do a mural. I want them to be like one thing. But now it's like I almost want them like textured because like just for me working like they're so dirty. I still have to touch up up here. And I feel like they're really going to get kind of like banged around. Like even like, like I just feel like it's a high traffic area and maybe I should like texture them. But also why am I, maybe, oh, 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 oh no, he fell. Oh, he fell down. Oh golly. But maybe I'm also just procrastinating on doing the non-fun stuff like plumbing. That's probably what it is. I really want to paint something. Oh guys, I'm very frustrated. I don't have the tool to crimp the plumbing. I I bought I mean I bought one last year and I don't know, it's not in my toolbox. I don't know if I like returned it or something. I'm just I don't know how I'm just now finding out I don't have it. I swear I had it like 2 weeks ago. I was at the store yesterday, and granted, it's a half hour drive one way. I was at the store yesterday getting stuff for plumbing, and so now I have to go back. Come on, baby. Let's go to the store. Another frustrating part means now I actually have to put shoes on because I was wearing my slippers. Why am I like this? I'm like trying to think what can I do besides using these crimps? I only have like two shark white fittings, that's not enough. If I wouldn't have procrastinated and waited till 10 a.m. to come out here and do this, I could have already been to town and back and probably halfway done with, with this. I'm just trying to, now I'm trying to think of like, what else do I really need from the store so I don't have to go back again? I also have to get Reflectix because I, I'm going to do some for up here and I bought them last year and I can't find them. So I'm like, did I return those too? Or did I just misplace them and lose them? <sighs> my life. This is my life. One day it won't be this chaotic. I will admit as well, I am good about finding like the positive or the good out of most situations. I usually, in the beginning, I'll be really frustrated and really pissed off. And then that quickly fades away. And now I'm finding this is good because I can get the Reflectix. I can like see how my car is driving now. You guys, I drove an hour and a half from my house to my parents with like no muffler. It was so loud. It was, my ears are ringing. My dogs are looking at me like, what is wrong? But, um, and I'm also gonna put my cash into the bank. So some adulting going on. I just wish this wasn't like my second trip in less than 24 hours, which this is nothing new, but I was really hoping this weekend would be different, you know? I was hoping I would grow and change from my mistakes, but so far, 30 almost 31 still learning a lot <laughs> okay got the goods um but let me just show you guys something i don't know how i feel about it i mean i do know how i feel but i don't know if it's that big of a deal um i got a new license plate for my bus because um i had to renew my tags anyway because it's my birthday month and so i was like i'll just get like the michigan like blue and yellow plate and i did not do a personalized plate but just wait till you see what it looks personalized and I don't like it. And when I first saw it, I was like, I have to get a new license plate. But then I might be being like a little irrational. You guys, this is my license plate. What do you think it reads? Oh no, like, oh no. I mean, I think this, this is like a joke. This is a joke, right? Okay, I just had to put in a little bit of makeup and actually brush my hair because I'm meeting some friends at my brother's brewery. Um... But when I came home and I saw that, I like first thing I did was walk into my parents' house and I was like, you guys, did you see my license plate? And they like laughed. My dad's like, I thought you personalized that. I was like, no. And he's like, I asked your mom, like, why would she say that about herself? Like, why would you make a license plate? This is, oh no. And like, that's the thing is like, it looks personalized and I don't like what it says. And I just don't know if I'm being like irrational, like wanting a new plate. Like, I mean, I bought a plate like in uh, probably January 
I just had to renew my tags because it's April, it's my birthday. So I was like, screw it, let's get like a, like a nice looking license plate. And then it comes back with that. I'm just like, it's just not me. Like I'm not one to personalize a license plate as like a joke like that anyway. I mean, I think the last time I did that, I was like 16 years old and it was like live in life. Yeah, so I just don't know what to do about that because I know it's like an irrational thing. But I'm also like, this is my home. I'm going to be driving this all across the country and I don't want the back to say, oh no. And then a blonde bitch driving the bus. Like I just fit that stereotype. What would you guys do? Am I being ridiculous? <laughs> I is funny, but like not the funny that I want. Like, <laughs> you guys, it stands out like a sore thumb, even against my new rust that I just found out about. But like, I can't. I'm sorry. Like, no, I can't do it. All right, so let's see if I can get this done before I have to leave to go drink some good beer. Um, okay, so this crimping tool. It's called a pinching tool, I think, actually. Yes, pinch. $60. Uh, and I only have, like, three, maybe four spots I actually have to do this with. And it's just, like, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of money. But, like, it adds up. And, like, this is something I know I've already bought. And so I was thinking about just getting, like, the shark bite fitting. So I've done it before. And I've always just had problems with them leaking. I know the brass ones are way better than the plastic. But it's just something, I want this done. I wanted to know, like, I don't have to, like, stress about it every time I turn the water on that maybe there's a leak. Like, with me building this whole build by myself, like, that's been a thought a lot is knowing things aren't perfect and, like, always, like, worrying about this or this breaking. And I just don't want that, like, with my plumbing, especially because I'm going to have, oh, I have an outdoor shower, but it's actually going to be a heated outdoor shower now. And I just, less worries, less, you know, like, least amount of stress that I can have is what I want. Oh, I'm sitting down to get started and guess what? I had to buy more crimps. I pay, I didn't pay for them and they're sitting on the shelf at Home Depot still. I set them down and I forgot. So the one out of three things I needed to finish this job, I don't have. That was an hour round trip and it is now like one in the afternoon and I have to leave at three. This is my life. I'm going to try to see if I have some things like extra. I think I might have just enough. And I did buy like a new fitting that won't need that. You know, this would not be Chrissy's life if she didn't forget simple things like that. Okay. I think this is the first time this has ever happened mm -hmm. in Chrissy's whole build. Um, No leaks. First time. So... I'm going to show you my water system and my new pump. And I Okay, so first off, do not judge my system. I've had to mess with it and move it so many times over the last year that there's a little bit more pressure on one of the lines that I would like. But it's working for now. So I'm going to, I still have antifreeze, if water doesn't freeze. I have like an inch of it in my tank. I have a really big tank, like a 65 gallon tank. So I'm trying to flush that all out. So I'm letting it run. This pump is the same brand I bought at like the same Amazon link that I bought my first one and this one's way louder and I'm interested to look it up and see if this one has more like water pressure like PSI um it's definitely more it's loud and I'm trying to figure out where some of that vibe like that vibration is coming from so I can help make it quieter I'm not like too worried about it it's just like extremely loud compared to the last time i also moved the pump down i did a lot of things um so i will show you and you'll see what i'm talking about this is my system um this used to be about five inches taller but this is what i'm not loving is this that angle right there that's just how the fitting went on and i noticed my last one did that too it goes on on an angle and that's just the way it is so that's fine but i don't really like this part that it's kind of like coming out at an angle. It's There's not a lot of like pressure on anything. This makes it look way worse than what it is, but this piece just goes on on an angle and there's no leaks, which I'm shocked. I did all new fittings here. I also had to redo this because this ended up way too long compared since I moved it down, um, but I'll turn it on and run it for you guys. 
my power system so my 12 volt is on and let me turn my faucet on this one though see it's pretty loud say though this one definitely it has to have more um like psi like water pressure because it would never like it would never like pressurize this quick like when i turn it on it would never get there that quick for one and it would never make a full stream that quickly so i mean that's cool um but that's what's frustrating about amazon is sometimes it's just not reliable like this is not the same pump that I bought a year ago. Same exact link, like same seller, but this one definitely has more PSI. It's like an updated, so no leaks, which is really cool. It's almost like, I can't believe it. I'm like, still gonna like let it run for a while and like keep an eye on it. Cause it just shocks me that there's no leaks cause it's never that easy. So I think now this is always set here on the ground, but I think I'm gonna make another shelf. So it's up off the ground and kind of away from my plumbings. It will fit, so. I think I'm gonna make its own space and then that could be storage for more things. I'm just trying to decide if I want it on the ground and storage above or if I want it above and having storage underneath. I just want to be able to always see this plumbing. So that's what I gotta kind of like figure out and play around with. I think it's important to ask Izzy what she wants. Annabelle, where would you like me to place the new shelf? Would you like the power station on the ground or would it sh should it go on a shelf? Blink twice if you don't care. Okay, it is hours later. Um, crazy enough, the plumbing is not leaking. I'm shocked. We're all shocked, aren't we, dude? Yeah, we just had some dinner. Yeah, we just had some dinner. Oh, he's sleepy. Um, okay, so this is actually crazy. I can't believe I'm actually admitting this. So I've had this wired um, to be an, an electrical outlet since I did my wiring, since I like, that was one of the first things I did. Um, so it's just been a wire like hanging out there, but I mean, it was like safe. It wasn't just like a live wire. It's been off, but I've had it wired to become an outlet um, for a long time. Look how sweet he is. Are you the sweetest? He is the sweetest, cuddliest dude. Yeah. But anyway, so this has been wired to become, like, for an outlet. So I've had it on my to-do list forever. And I just never got to it because it was just, like, something I was, like, putting off. So I started it today, and I just forgot how easy it is. I'm like, why did I not do this a long time ago? It'll be nice. So when I'm working, like, on my desk or on my computer, or on my, you know, just behind this, I'll have an outlet. Um. Who are you kids creeping on? Are you watching kids down at the park? Like creeps? I do have to say though, this white against like that tile looks so good. And I think I should keep it. I think I just really need to clean up some stuff. But I think it looks nice. Okay, I'm attempting to make a toilet paper shelf box thing because this is all leftovers and it fits perfectly. So why not? Um, my only issue that I'm running into is I don't want to buy anything new for this project. I just want to use what I already have. And when I L bracket these, the, the, oh, oops, the only screws I have will go through. Like they're too long. I'm not going to go buy anything more for this. So I'm going to use a second little piece so it doesn't go all the way through. We'll see how it turns out. Whew, so it has been a day. This little toilet paper box took me way longer than I planned and then I had a friend step by and that was a long time and now I'm exhausted. But it's finally done and it's it's in there. So it'll fit like three toilet papers and I can put like other things in there. So check mark off the list. It's a lot of background noise because it's nice out and everyone is like doing yard work. But I just have to say, I got this DeWalt, um, like, vacuum uh, shop vac for Christmas. And I'm finally just now using it for the first time. And it's just, like, with the DeWalt battery. 
it is so lightweight and it's working so good i freaking love this thing i am so excited about it i can't believe it took me this long to finally use it um now that's like april <laughs> but i just have to say this thing it's a winner this this is where the battery goes in it has different attachments this thing is like bus life gold Okay, I am back up at my house. Um, I'm away from the bus for like the next week or so. And I just found, you know, a lot of these random clips on my phone from when I didn't have my GoPro with me. So it's just like a pile of all those things. Um, but I just wanted to document them. And I just wanna say thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you wanna keep seeing some bus life things. Videos in the future will be a little bit more like in order and um, a little bit more like structured, but I do have some big news coming up soon that will probably be in my next video explaining what my near future is looking like regarding the bus and kind of why I'm doing all these like updates um, quickly, like fit fitting them in on the weekends when I can. I am almost done with my semester at school and I cannot wait, but thanks for watching guys.